Hey guys, welcome back to Frambo. In the previous episode, well, a lot of things happened and we ended up in here. But we were finally able to open the box, as you can see because it's gone, uh, from Palontras. And we got a key from it that opened that uh, plushie we got from Itward. And we got this um, article, I guess, about how to design the echo clock, which I think we're gonna have to build. I already got the. The piano key, see, we already crossed it out. So yeah, uh, I think I must wake up my book. Yeah, I know, friend. Um, yeah, let's just look around because I just went through this painting in the previous episode before I ended it. And it's a crazy world. We're in the fifth reality. And we need to find my book because she has Mr. Midnight. He's locked in a cage again, like with the twin sisters. So yeah, um, insert button. It says insert button, then I should insert a button. A button? Maybe they mean a coin. Nah, it must be a button. But we don't have a button. Um, what's this? We can crank this lever? It seems it won't budge. Maybe I have to give a coin or something. Okay, for the key for, for one or three maybe. What about this? Can we go here? Yes, the bottle. Because we needed a bottle with water so we need to get the water from him and the soap but how do we get there oh my god can we pull this i may need this wire in the near future but how are we gonna use it friend it still has electricity oh my kitty would lick and chew that up out of you let's get the wire again i don't know what we're gonna need for um, can we just chuck it up to him? Nope. Okay, let's go back to the painting. Yeah, see all the craziness? This uh, person talked to us too. I forgot her name again. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I'll still see him inside that cage. Okay, he can see or she can see everything. Huh, this mirror is transparent. It's more like a window. A weir- a wind roar? <laughs> okay, let's go back here. So we opened 105, um, 104, 103, not, and 102, not either. So let's go back into our little room here. Um, just not. Oh, we can go to the left here. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay, so we can get the soap from him. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Thank you, Mr. Alien, I guess. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their babies' bodies and keep their heads, their beautiful baby heads. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Okay. Um, let's put the soap um, combined with this. Oh, it can be done yet? Okay, because I see the soap is in... Yeah, the soap bar is in the bottle. Empty case, working bulb. Bottle with water. Can I get some water from his bath? Who's bottle with bad boy? No, I want the water. Ah, oh, with faucet. This could work wonderfully if the water was on. Oh. I turned on the water. Oh, friend. Okay. I fill the bottle with water. La la la. Okay, we can't click the rose. This little whale picture. Oh, a painting of a whale. Very nice. Real whales are nice too. Very amazing creatures. Hmm, there's nothing I can do with it? Okay. Well, what we're first gonna do is help that Kamala that was getting eaten by... I mean, help that tree that was get eaten by Kamala, I mean. And let's throw some water on him. I hope we can do that. Use. This won't work, huh? What? I need to get outside. Damn, can't we climb down? Oh, I didn't look into the closet yet. We did in another reality, another version of Ren, but we didn't for her. Oh, who is she? 
she had a a thingy too. <laughs> she had a stuffed animal too. That's quite cute. Oh, uh, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. Is this Alice from Alice in Wonderland? We have so much fun making stuff up together. Ah. Uh, okay, we can't click on anything, but Fran is wearing a key around her neck. My summer hat, it doesn't fit anymore, my head is too big. My mother always told me that is because I have a big brain. But I wonder, is that good or bad thing? Who knows? Oh. This summer dress, it has a big button. Okay, take the button, friend. Why can't I take it? The summer dress, it has a big button. Can I use the knife to chop it off? Yes, we're gonna need that for that machine. A big pink button for my summer dress. Okay, just a regular scarf, doing what regular scarves do. Okay, let's look down here. We got balloons. Balloons in many colors. Why do we need balloons for? We don't need it for here, maybe instead of the glove? Um, ew, it has cat hair all over it, I won't lick it. <laughs> Lots of candy in the jar. Okay, hello, don't look at me like that. We had a deal, you stay here until I grow up. Because grown up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. I will take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight, so we can have somewhere to sleep in the Tersta. I hope it was come by to get me, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, I don't, I want to go to it Tersta too. My school case, I may need it, let's open it. Can I examine it? No. Uh, my tiny sock for my tiny feet. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Also to comb my hair and see if the clothes fit. Sometimes I stare at my eyes for a very long time and I get scared. Okay. Well, let's use that button on that uh, machine, I guess. But we're gonna put, need to put the cord back. Um, yeah. Cl crawl through here. By Mr. I or Mrs. I. Okay, let's use the wire again. Let's use the button. Insert button. And there goes my button. Now what? Let's crank this. Oh. Is that everything? Pfft. That's not a key. At least I hope this can help me somehow. But what is it gonna help us? Can I get more? Oh, that was it. Ah, hello, happy monkey. Is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fran. You played the drums very well. I thought it was gonna give us a key. Oh, I know now what we're gonna use this for. I know now. We can get the key from his teeth. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. Shiny little key, come here. I wonder what door you'll unlock. Well, we'll see you in a second. Probably not 103, because that's the last door we're gonna have to open, because there's blood coming from it. Oh! A big Mr. Midnight! A wake-up clock, perfect! Hmm, it's tightly tied. If I want it, I'll have to do something about it. A wake-up clock, perfect. Um, can we go into this hatch? Can we pull this lever first? Oh! Thank you. Oh, there's a glove up there. Oh, excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thank you. Okay, so we got the glove. So we still need the wake-up clock and a working bulb and a black wire. Oh, we got the black wire. Let me get that first back before I forget. We can go into the hatch in a second. Oh, okay. Oh! She's got a key. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also a part of the deal. <laughs> How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck in the tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Well, we have a comb. We can uncomb their hair. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? 
I don't know a hair comb. What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but you just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'll only burn if I'm in danger. But gently and nothing will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Oh, This is so adorable. It worked! There they go. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer. All Lucifers I've met do all these things. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Bye. Oh yeah, because the Luciferns were evil in the fifth reality. That must be the key to door 103. I can smell it. <laughs> well, we need something long to get it. And we don't. Trying out things is good, but in this case it won't do anything good. Well, we'll come back for it, but we know we can get it now. Without any um, person stopping us. Get out of there, friend. Okay, let's go to here. Let's go into the hatch. Oh, can I use the knife to get the, the clock? Yes, I got the, you, little wake-up clock. So now we only need the wor working bulb. Oh, we got a case already. Empty case. Oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> the back of the giant cat. This must be for something important. It's quite dark in there. Oh, okay. I get your gist. I think I'm gonna have to put the, the, the case in there. Can I combine the clock with the case already? No, um... We need the bulb. But where would one get a bulb? Oh, from this lamp? No, it's not clickable. Oh, there's bulbs over here! Oh, great, I got the light bulb now. Okay. What is this button, by the way? This isn't doing anything. Well, okay then. Maybe it's supposed to not be working. Do we have to put the case in his back first? Is it in there? It seems it is. Okay, we just have to put all the parts in. Now, I think I have to put the soap in here. Negative. Okay, well. I'm just gonna put it all in there then. Um, the bulb. And the soap. And the piano keys. Oh! It's working! Oh, thank you! <laughs> Whoa, what are we gonna do with this? Oh my goodness, this is amazing! The echo clock, it's finished! How are we gonna use this? This is fantastic, I'll wake up my book out with this! Hmm, I wonder how it works. The mechanics would seem a little bit unusual. Okay, how do I wake up? Her, wake her up? Hey, can you blow this up for me? You took my soap, why did you take my soap? Do you have hygiene problems? Nothing, of course. Oh. Yes, we're making water balloons and I know why. Ah, the powerful water balloons. I know why. Oh, let's throw it on him. Bam. Oh, goodness, I missed. Oh, come on, friend, you got three throws. Arg, almost. Yes, yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Go away, you evil. Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't you worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. Thank you. I just needed that. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. That's a very nice tree. And it gave us perfectly what we needed. We just need the branch to get the key. And we can always keep the branch and plant it later for him. That's what I would do at least. Fantastic, I can reach it. Now I have the key. Perfect. Let's go down, friend. <laughs> His eyes are looking at me. So cute. Okay. Let's use the key. Yes. Oh, that doesn't look fun in there. But let's go down the rabbit hole, I guess. 
Uh oh. Where's Mr. Midnight? He's not here. Is this the queen? Okay. Creature from above, get out from Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you? Arrogant little infant? And how did you plan to wake her up, huh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwint? Cogwint is a nice clockmaker, he's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you have been to Ithesta. Horrid place, I might say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, your fragile little mind. We'll be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Well, we got something to wake her up. Oh, all the animals look evil. Hello, coach. You look a bit like Remmer. Are you cousin to Remmer, maybe? You're much prettier, though. What about this? Oh, hello, little boar. Are you having a lovely time? Are you a friend of Mabuka? Oh, hello. The floor is beating like a heart. Is this Mabuka's heart? Hmm, it feels fragile and strong at the same time. Okay, well, we're gonna use this on her or on the heart. No, I think we're gonna have to use it on her face. Yes! Wake up, queen! Uh-oh. Ah! Beware of Mabuka! The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother of Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite is insolent from such a tiny body? Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Frambo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave. So, you know. A human in Mabuka's den, that's amusing. Who brought you there? Here. That would be Remmer. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Yes, we did. Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I can only... Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with the time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Falokas from Primev told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed f to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remmer killed my parents. Mother Mabuka, can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Rambo. I am the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow from this desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remmer killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason if that makes you feel better. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key, be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. That's not good, we're going into the, the heart of the darkness. Well, there we go, be ready, friend. Well, let's go down the rabbit hole again. <laughs> but this time it's not a rabbit hole. What the fuck? <laughs> this game! Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. Oh, that creature's body. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Huh, did you stab all your little friends with it? What? A knitting needle? Are you... You the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald's asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ha! You little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need a medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Oh, great. Well, let's take a number. Which number? 07. 
Let's take a number. I hope I get a good one. They listen, they see and they touch. In a way I feel I'm back in Oswald's asylum. But I, it can't be or can I? I hear like somebody talking out of this thing. But 106. It's locked but it doesn't have a keyhole. Oh, do I need uh, 06 as a number? I already took a number. Okay. Okay, this looks like a waiting room. Oh, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days? Ha! Huh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for, tr waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Um, excuse me everyone. But is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. <laughs> and by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Arch, enough. It's impossible to talk sensibly with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not one of... You're not one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. There's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps too. To better understand each other. Well, do understand each other very well. With our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No. Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait, because talking won't make the wait go faster. Huh, alright, thank you for nothing. Well, I have to talk to the all-seeing person then. Let's look at the TV, it says 01. This must be the number display. Huh, I have a number 7, it will take ages to get there. I must be get a better number, like number 2. Well, it would be very rude, even in the evil, in the fifth reality, to take his number. He's been waiting for so long. Well, I think I have to go talk to the all-seeing eye again. Let's talk to him, or her. I hope you find your cat friend soon. Maybe let's show him the number? This won't work, huh? Oh, what is this? Well, we're in a pickle, aren't we? Hey kid, this is my turn now to talk to her with the nurse, alright? If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Ew, you eat children? Did you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness, don't you worry. But what number does she have? This is strange. Can I show her the number? Alright, just take a number and wait for your turn. Well, maybe you have to talk to every patient. My R eye, my right eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. I think my whore won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Arch, waiting was fun at the beginning. Now it's just boring. Wait. Can I switch numbers with him? Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be, would it be possible to change your tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your tickets? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to end this episode here because it has been long enough again. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna go talk to that eye and we're gonna ask her what illness he has. And maybe he wants to give us his ticket and we're finally gonna be number two. Because number seven, this is gonna take years. 
comment, like, and hit that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of Rambo. Bye, guys!